Kenya Children's Garden has been a vision of the Beaches Local Food Network Advisory Council since the community garden's creation three years ago. With much planning and hard work, the Children's Garden has become a reality. We look forward to offering many community workshops starting this spring. The council began by getting approval from the City of Neptune Beach, organizing a specific Children's Garden budget, and fundraising through grants, plant sales, and our Farm to Table Dinner, in which local farmers and chefs donated fresh food, wine, and their culinary skills for an event to delight the taste buds. Many local businesses donated items and services for a silent auction also. Once our finances were in order, we developed a children's garden committee to begin the planning and development of the new children's garden, including a layout, work days, and themes. The children's garden is located on the south side of the Beaches Organic Community Garden in Neptune Beach, Florida. Our good friend Willie donated his landscape architecture skills and developed site plan in conjunction with the children's garden committee. Now we're on our way! Jason did much of the heavy labor in the construction of the site. Here he kicks off the first workday tilling up the area. Wonderful groups of eager volunteers of all ages showed up to help the children's garden become a reality. Here volunteers remove grass and weeds in preparation for the beds. Leveling out the site was a tricky job in our sandy soil. The keyhole beds and pathways begin to emerge all carefully laid out according to the site plan. Committee member and avid native gardener Jennifer designed the keyhole beds with an emphasis on organic flow and accessibility for little arms. Council member Terry lays weed mat on the main pathway. Here we make sure that the weed mat covers the entire path because in Florida's year-round growing season, the weeds never let up and prevention is the best method of control. Volunteers all worked joyfully building trellises, beds, borders, and plant teepees. And finally, in comes the soil. The Jacksonville Zoo donated composted manure, which we dubbed Zoo Poo, to give our beds a healthy start. Jennifer fills a keyhole here with Zoo Poo. And finally, after many successful mornings, the pathways and the keyhole beds are complete. Next, we filled the pathways with coquina shells, a locally abundant Florida resource. The areas around the paths and beds were heavily mulched to prevent weeds and retain moisture. Student volunteers from a local college were in valuable help. Here they are building a fence on the garden's southernmost boundary. This arch trellis will soon be covered by pea vines and will provide a nook for children to enjoy. Sun protection is a major factor in any Florida outdoor endeavor, so arbors and trellises are an important part of the garden's design. Vern, another of our labor heavies, donated supplies and led the building of our trellises. Here is a complete trellis over a bench made by local Girl Scouts. This is the view from the main entrance to the children's garden. The entrance trellis is long enough to provide a feeling of transition as visitors enter into an environment specifically designed for children. Many fruit trees and herbs were planted around the keyhole beds by the volunteers. Committee member and local Montessori guru Peggy mulches the new plantings. Now the site is really beginning to look like a garden. Volunteers remove any emerging weeds and break up large chunks of compost in preparation for planting the keyhole beds. Grapevines begin to climb the trellis and the garden is finally ready for its grand opening and the children's planting event. These plants are strategically placed and ready for the children to plant them. The big day finally arrives. Children's Garden Committee Head Coordinator Amy welcomes and thanks all the volunteers and guests for their support. Amy's dedication to this project made the Children's Garden an enormous success. Now we're ready to make it official. Amy and the children helped Neptune Beach Mayor Harriet Pruitt cut the ribbon. Peggy helps community members get busy planting veggies and herbs in the keyhole beds. These children are planting the pizza garden bed. Gretchen, co-founder and director of the Beaches Local Food Network and Community Garden, 
helps her niece Maya prepare a hole for planting. Olivia plants basil in the pizza garden. While Peggy shows her granddaughter Addie how to loosen a plant's root ball. The children's garden grand opening and planting teemed with activity and excitement. Handmade signs label all the new plants. Maya plants an eggplant in the seasonal vegetable bed. Garden co-founder and horticulturalist Jonathan shows his new daughter Opal how potatoes grow. Amy's daughter Gabriella loves helping in the garden. Children of all ages are able to help and sensorially experience the garden. Last but not least, the children water in the new plants. Here, Eli waters in the blueberries. While Lucas and Gabriel water the sensory bed. Watering is always a favorite job in the garden. Harper is already enjoying the sensory garden bed and taking time to smell the lavender. The Beaches Children's Garden is a success and will be enjoyed by the community's children for years to come.